Major Henry Alfred Comiskey was the first U.S. Marine to receive the Medal of Honor in the Korean War. On the 20th of September 1950, Lieutenant Comiskey was serving as a platoon leader in the 1st Marine Division in action against enemy aggressor forces near Yongdongpo, Korea. He was directed to attack hostile forces while dug in on Hill 85. Comiskey spearheaded the assault, charging up the steep slopes firing while on the run. Coolly disregarding and dodging the heavy enemy machine gun and small arms fire, he forged on well forward of the rest of his platoon and was the first man to reach the crest of the objective. Armed only with a pistol, he jumped into a hostile machine gun emplacement occupied by five enemy troops and quickly disposed four of the enemy combatants with his handgun. Grappling with the fifth, Comiskey knocked him to the ground and held him until he could obtain a weapon from another member of his platoon and he quickly dispatched the last of the enemy gun crew. Continuing his bold assault, he moved to the next emplacement, killed two or more of the enemy and then led his platoon toward the rear nose of the hill to rout the remainder of the enemy. His valiant leadership and courageous fighting spirit served to inspire the men of his company to heroic endeavor in seizing the objective. After the war Comiskey moved to Mississippi, where he lived in his final years. Comiskey's health had deteriorated and his PTSD haunted him. Tragically his wife came home on August 16, 1971, and found him dead at the age of 44 due to a self-inflicted gunshot wound. God bless our vets.